this uh, prohibition by the court will depend. If you are turning around this user agreement with a customer that clicks on the internet, most probably the court is considered a cross move. If we are talking about, as we say to you, Cleo, with two like a multinational company that are negotiating an agreement for a month with a law firm on each side and they print it out and sign it, maybe there is a limitation of liability reasonable. A court will accept that. Why? Because both parties were equally strong. So if the, one of the parties accepted these limitations by agreement, and, and these limitations become kind of reasonable, is because there was a business or commercial decision on this part to accept it. Okay? Here is looking at me like you are saying the same thing on the both side, but the, that's the way it works. You know, you are, you are like smiling. But I rather I like to see you smile because uh, I don't have videos, but you smile. <laughs> then, <laughs> confidentiality. Uh, take it into consideration that the, so in this particular agreement, not part of agreement, because if I, if I run your house, I mean, what confidentiality is not me. But in this kind of agreement, this, uh, the confidentiality clause is, I would say, very, very important. Why? Because you are giving to the other party your knowledge. Even though you are giving, like if, we give, if I am the guy clicking, not in anything, because I don't know anything about software, I mean, I can use it, that's it. But someone clicking knows about software, engineering software, can like uh, get into it and uh, understand how it works. You see what I mean? I cannot do it because. Uh, So it's recommended to be precise on 
what the parties or which clauses the parties want to continue being uh, valid between them after termination. And then I spoke a little bit at the beginning of applicable law and jurisdiction, okay, that the, the parties can decide the, the a little bit more of this. Any question about this uh, slice? Slice? Validity and legal execution. This, as I said before, I said, let's see if there's any other part of detail. Uh, agreements can be formal and not formal. Formal are deeds like corporation, power of attorney that where the law requires some formality. And if you buy property, you don't have to do it. Yet. If you want to set up a corporation, you have to do it before an author. If you want to grant the power of attorney, you have to do it before an author. Okay? And other agreements, like the rent I said, the merchant position, whatever, can do it in any kind of uh, informal agreement. And this is the case of the UDA. This is what I gave you that. It's a non formal agreement. As I said before, it's valid by the execution of the internet. Why is that? Because agreement, by law, at least in Argentina, it is not a single law or country, doesn't have to be written necessarily or signed by both parties necessarily. It's a benefit for the party, by the way, because you know you don't want to have in the future an issue of evidence in the litigation because the agreement is written. But I can have a verbal agreement with another uh, person, and if I have witnesses or another way to prove the existence of that agreement, that agreement will be as valid as an uh, executive agreement. Okay? So in this case, the, the technology allows us to use this cleaning system that is as valid as a verbal agreement. It's a matter of evidence in the future. If this is not an error or something that I did, you're going to have an expert in technology getting into the computer of both parties and you're going to tell the court whether this agreement was executed or not according to what the parties agreed. Okay? So it's absolutely valid. It will be a matter of, in, in, this, in the discovery process, in the, in the trial, to prove it. It's better to sign both parties, and even better to sign before an notary, and you're going I mean, you, you, you to have different like, levels of certainty. This is not the best, but it's valid. Okay. Then, as we are in an international event, I mentioned to you, this is not linked to the UN, but just FYI. <laughs> that if you want an agreement to be valid in a different country that is executed, there is a what? there is a, a convention of 1961. It's a Hague convention related to notarization and certification of signatures. That is usually one of the the apostille that get the apostille get the apostille. That when an agreement is signed in a country that is a member of this uh, convention, I think Brazil is not. But uh, like, uh, it is? No. No, yeah. I think Brazil is not. But uh, like in most of the countries, you never knew why. Why is not? It's weird because uh, I would say 90% of the countries are there. Because it wasn't signed. Once I know why I asked myself and I verified it, I was not. You want to use like a popular class. Because Brazil is saying there is no yeah. opportunity. Like, not, at least it's not nice. Um, if one of the countries, say Brazil, that is a part of this uh, convention, if you sign in Argentina and I have a, a, a apostille or certified the procedure to the apostille, and I send this document to whatever other country, to Holland, with the CLIO, uh, this, uh, the agreement will be valid as it were executed in Holland before an operator. Okay? And the same Holland with Argentina. So this is not for the dealing of the internet, but if you are dealing with much more formal or uh, huge important uh, I mean, economic value, you may uh, you may use it.